Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a parallelogram and inside this parallelogram is a circle. And a line is drawn from this point of this parallelogram to the point of tangency of the circle in this parallelogram. So this point of tangency, there is a line. And this line is uh, passes through the diameter of this, this circle because it passes through the center of this circle and this circle is inside also by uh, these two tangent points inside the parallelogram and we are required to find the area of the circle and the lengths A and B okay so first thing that I want you to notice is that this point of tangency at the bottom of the circle is actually there is also another point of tangency which is this form and in between those two points of tangency they they have a line uh, in they uh, intersect at a point then if this is three then this should be also three units Okay. Ne okay, so next is we, uh, I want you to notice that this point is actually forming a 90 degree angle here. Because this is actually a point of tangency. And that this triangle, this triangle is actually a right triangle. Okay, so next is we need to form another smaller right triangle which is similar to this larger right triangle. So that would be if we draw a line from this point of the parallelogram downwards. And we draw a line from this perpendicularly from this line to connect this. At this point of this parallelogram, we form a smaller right triangle, and this is actually similar to the bigger right triangle because if you have here an angle alpha, and this of course should be a complementary angle, this should be beta, and this angle should be a complementary which is alpha, and this will become beta okay since this is 90 this should be alpha plus beta and since this triangle is right triangle then these two angles this angle and this angle should be complementary so this is actually beta since this is alpha okay so notice that if you have here a length of 12 this length is actually a tangent from this circle and also this length is actually tangent to <coughs> this circle at this point and the, they intersect at this point so this length is actually also 12 uh, because we can actually draw a line from this uh, point and see that this is really a point of tangency so this distance is also, this should be really 12. Okay, so next is we project this uh, a line from the center of the circle to the point of tangency below. And this is also a right angle. And notice that this whole length is actually 12. And that this distance is actually, if that is 12, then this uh, part of the distance is actually this is actually 12 minus 3 so this becomes 9 okay so next is we get this length so this length is actually a leg of this uh, right triangle and the hypotenuse is actually 15 because of 12 plus 3 so we have 15 square is equal to uh, 9 square plus 
if we label this as x, this leg, so nine square plus x square. So x square is equal to 15 square minus nine square. So we have x square is equal to 225 minus 81. Okay, so this becomes x squared is equal to 144. And if we get the square root of both sides, we have x is equal to 12 units. Okay, so next is we draw a line from this center of the <coughs> circle downwards to this point of tangency. And notice that uh on these two points of tangency this one and this one uh it has also this uh, diameter is also parallel to the 12 unit length we got just earlier because this should be nine a 90 degree angle and they actually form a rectangle and uh, therefore this diameter is actually also 12 and if this diameter is 12, then the radius is actually, this is 6, and this should be 6. And uh, this is also the radius, this length. This also should be 6, and this should be 6. Okay, so next is I want you to notice the uh, length of this right triangle. So the length is R9. Uh, 3, I mean 12, and 15. So if we divide all of them by 3, they would reduce to, if we multiply this by 1 third, so it would reduce to a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And since this triangle is similar to this larger triangle, this larger triangle earlier then this should be also a 3 or 5 triangle and if you draw a uh, line from this I mean uh, if you focus on this triangle this one because if you draw a perpend I mean if you see that this is a point of tangency then this is this should be 90. So this smaller triangle should be a, a smaller right triangle is also a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Uh, 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Okay, so if we focus on the sides of this uh, triangle, so the sides are, the shorter leg is actually uh, 6. So 6. And the longer leg is A. And the hypotenuse is B plus 6. And if we compare this to a 3, 4, 5 triangle, the ratio 3, uh, 4, and 5. Okay, so then we can use uh, the ratio. Uh, let's say. If you divide 4 by 3, the ratio between the two legs, the longer and the shorter, then we can say that it is equal to A over 6. So we have uh, A is equal to 6 times 4 over 3. So A is equal to 8 units. Okay, so on the other hand, we can compare this uh, uh, shorter leg, which is 6, and B plus 6. So we have B plus 6 all over 6 is equal to the ratio of uh, 5 all over Three. So we have, if we cross multiply, we have b plus six is equal to six 
times 5 all over 3. So this becomes 6 over 3 is 2 times 5 which is 10. So B plus 6 is 10. B plus 6 is 10. And if B plus 6 is equal to 10, then this B should be equal to uh, 10 minus 6. So B is equal to 4. Okay, so now uh, we also have the value of the radius, which is 6. So we can actually find the area. So the area is equal to pi times the radius squared. So, but the radius is actually 6. So we have 6 squared. So area is equal to 36 pi square units. And this is our answer for the area. Okay, so summarizing for our answers, the area is equal to 36 pi square units and A is equal to 8 and B is equal to 4 units. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.